Welcome back to Las Vegas Now. When it comes to real estate, the big question usually comes down to, is now a good time to buy? Well, here to share some insight from Las Vegas Real Estate Now, the sponsors of today's segment is Harvey Blinkfeld. Harvey, thank you for being here. So glad to be back, Jillian. Thanks. So this is the million, well, we're, we're talking lottery. The billion dollar question <laughs> is, yeah. is right now a good time to buy a home? It, it is. I mean, uh, if, if you've been a buyer over the last several years, you've been frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, you, you're competing with cash buyers. You're having to pay over appraised value many times, which meant you had to come in with a lot of cash or be prepared to come in with a lot of cash. Um, you also, it, the competition was fierce. You know, anything that went on the market had multiple offers. And so you, you got very frustrated. So there's opportunities now that there weren't available to you as little as 10 weeks ago. The inventory has tripled. We went from 20, a little over 2,500 single-family homes to now over 7,500 single-family wow. homes available. So there's opportunities for you. If you were a seller, I had a lot of sellers come to me, Jillian, and say, hey, Harp, I'd love to sell my house, but i got no place to go. Mm -hmm. Now you've got choices to make for yourself. And the big concern now might be the interest rates. And interest rates did go up for a while, but they've recently come down again. And uh, John Ingram, uh, one of my favorite uh, colleagues and a lender, his comment is, look, you want to marry your home but just date your interest rate. So you can advice. always change the interest rate later, and then when they come down, you can refinance it. And also, the other concern for buyers these days is, geez, is the market going to go down? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the big question. Is it going to go down? There's nothing to indicate that it goes down in any significant way at all. It might bounce around a little bit, but we don't see any major crash or any downfall in values. That's not in the cards right now. So the opportunities are there. You, need, you don't need as much cash as you needed before. There's plenty to choose from. Interest rates are up, but they've been coming down too. And you can even buy your interest rate down now these days and, and pay a little extra up front and buy it down so your payments will be within reason. Well, and you kind of touched on this, but let me ask you. I know a lot of homeowners who decided they weren't even in the market to sell their home and they realized the value was so high and they said, I'm just going to sell to sell because who knows if it will ever reach that level <laughs> again. Right. Is that the right mindset uh, to yeah. have? I mean, look, <laughs> and when you're talking about your, the place you live, your home, uh, the only time you'd be concerned about the value is when you want to sell or when you want to buy. Uh, in between that, it doesn't, it's nice to watch it. It doesn't really matter that much. So look, I would say if you really need to move or you want to move, you want to get bigger, smaller, closer, further, something like that, by all means do it. Buy a home you can afford. And then later on, if you have to refinance and knock that payment down, by all means do it. Knock the payment down. And what would your advice be to those first-time homeowners? I think everyone's a little tim intimidated, especially when people are coming in from other states and now you oh, just yeah. feel like the competition is higher than ever. So what would your advice be to okay. them? Okay, so now it's good news is you have choices to make. And the first-time home buyers, it's more of a challenge. The first purchase for any home buyer is the hardest because you're writing checks. Mm -hmm. You've got to write check for down payment, closing costs, things of that nature. The checks won't have to be as big as they would have had to been a little while ago. But the second and third purchase, the purchases after that, they're easy because you're just taking the money out of your current house and moving into another. There's no checks being written. It's really simple. So I would say to buyers, look, don't be afraid. If you're renting, remember this. When you're renting, you're paying 100% interest. Mm -hmm. You're, you're getting no value whatsoever out of renting. So that's why I'm so passionate about convincing people that you need to be a homeowner. Well, Harvey, thank you for breaking this all down. Sure. I think you're putting a lot of people's minds at ease. And it is an overwhelming market out there, oh, but yeah. you're, you're making it easy for us. And thank you for sharing all of your tips with us. And thank you again to Las Vegas Real Estate Now for sponsoring the segment. For more information, you can call 702-203-1165 or visit lvrealestatenow.com.